Hey guys, this is Dave the Software Dev again, and today I'm going to be showing you about forms in Twitter Bootstrap. Twitter Bootstrap offers several types of forms, of which I'm going to be showing you three here. The horizontal form, the inline form, and the search form. So, uh, all we need to, to get started is just to include the Bootstrap CSS into our project. So I'm going to start by creating uh, a horizontal form, which is very similar to ones you may have seen before, such as a sign-up form. Uh, it lays out forms um, th down the screen, but the labels are horizontal from the, uh, the input tags. And that's why it's called a horizontal form. So let's just get started here. I'm going to build us a form with a class of form horizontal. Okay, so I've finished out that form, and if we go back up to the top here, uh, this is a, a pretty basic sign-up form, but I'm going to show you the structure of how the everything is laid out here. So you begin by giving your, uh, your form the class of form-horizontal, and inside of this, for each element that you want, you create a control group inside of a div there. Now, each of my, uh, my form... Uh, inputs have a label assigned to them. So I've got one here, for instance, that has a labeled name. Here's one for street address. And each of those labels have to have a class of control label, and that li aligns them up properly uh, in the form. So I've got this one here. It's for the name element. Uh, this one's for address one, etc. And I've got uh, address two, city, uh, state, and zip. So after your label, you create a div with a class of controls. And that's going to set up, uh, in case you have multiple controls that, uh, that you want to be sort of aligned with this given label, you would put them inside of this controls tag. For each of these, I've only got one, and that would be just an input tag. I gave it a type of text, an ID, and a name. So I duplicated this throughout the form for each of my inputs until I get to the bottom. Well, I don't have a label for the sign up button. Uh, so I've just got my controls tag with the uh, with the sign up button in it. So this is what our form actually looks like when I open it up. You can see that uh, everything is laid out horizontally, whereas the labels are horizontal from my my form elements. The actual form goes down the screen vertically, but the horizontal uh, definition says that uh, your label is going to be horizontal from your inputs. One class that you can add to your form to make it stand out a little bit is the well class. Let's save that. And that puts your form inside of a bordered um, sort of section um, that has a, a slight gray background on it. So that can uh, help your form stand out on the screen quite a bit. All right, the next one I'm going to show you is an inline form, which is quite a bit simpler than a horizontal form. So here's our inline form. Uh, instead of having the form horizontal tag, this one has the form inline. And then all of our inputs are just put in one after the other on this. Um, so uh, inline forms are used very commonly for, for sign-in forms. And for instance, I've got here one with an ID of uh, username, an ID of password, and a type of password. And then I've got placeholders uh, in these, which will actually show the word username and password inside of the input there. And then I've just got a button which says log in. So if I save this, refresh my page, you can see this form is inline. Uh, in Bootstrap and you know you would get to your username and password and then you would log in. So the last kind of form I'm going to show you is a search form. So here's our search form. Uh, it's also very simple just like the inline form was. I've only got two inputs here. The first one is a, an input uh, with a class of search query and also had to put my form search uh, class on my form. That sets it up like the inline form. But the, uh, the search query will actually show us a, uh, a rounded input as opposed to the square input on, on my input uh, element here. And then I've just got a button here which uh, just says search, and I've got the primary uh, class on it so it'll stand out. So let's save that. Refresh. So as you can see here, this is the search form with our, uh, with our search query in the rounded box there, and then our search button. So I hope this video helped you uh, learn a little bit about uh, Bootstrap uh, Forms. Uh, if you did, please uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.